okay now we going to study on the physics topic of free fall neglecting air resistance which is like in vacuum now we will have two parts one is something uh, dropping downwards and one something that is thrown upwards and then after that coming down now let's start with the easier one something dropping downwards on the surface of our planet so if we release a ball right uh, from rest right a ball from rest it will start to accelerate due to gravitational attraction force which we call gravity uh, which we call weight right so it will go towards the center of the earth you go faster and faster and faster all right so you can see that it's going faster now <clears throat> in this case if we draw the velocity or the speed time graph it will go this way all right in zero second one second two second three second all right you'll go up to 30 meter per second right and this acceleration in is due to the gravity we call this gravitational free fall acceleration so in the previous topic we learned that the uh, acceleration which now we give it a special name called g all right we notice that it is 30 minus 0 over 3 which is 10 meter per second square now the actual value for our planet earth is 9.8 but for N and O level, we take it as 10. Alright. So, this is something that is dropping downwards. So, if I call this the release point A, this is B and this is C. Alright. So, this is A, this is B and this is C. So, it's speeding up. Now, the total distance that you drop down, over here, the total distance will be equal to the area here. So, if you calculate the area, which in our previous topic we learned that the area under the speed time graph is actually the distance all right we'll get the h in meter now let's go on to the second part the one that is slightly more difficult now instead of dropping the stone downwards from rest now we thrown it up all right we throw it up so if we throw a stone upwards due to gravity attraction force downwards which we call the weight it will decelerate so you decelerate, you go slower and slower, and eventually at the highest point, all right, you'll come to a rest for the instant, all right. So the instantaneous speed here is zero meter per second, and then it will change direction, and then you go faster and faster, all right, and then come back to this position, all right. Suppose if I call this the starting position A and call this B and call this C now how do we represent this on the velocity time graph now velocity time graph has positive and negative because velocity is a vector is able to show the direction so suppose if I throw up with a speed of say 30 meter per second all right so if I throw up at 30 meter per second, all right, it will start to decelerate, all right. At what rate? At what uh, deceleration? All right. The g on our planet Earth is actually 9.81, but for n and o level we take it as 10. So it will decelerate at this acceleration of minus 10. Now why is there a minus sign? because it's a negative gradient and also because on its way up it is actually decelerating all right we take the upward uh, velocity as positive in this case and then from three to six second it will change direction and accelerate downwards now to a velocity of minus 30. now how do we how do we interpret this this is a velocity of 30 because it's going up. This is a velocity of minus 30 meter per second because it's coming down. So it has become minus because the direction now has changed. Now it's traveling in the opposite direction. So likewise, the gradient throughout here is 
minus 10 meter per second square all right that is consistent to the concept we learned that the g is downwards at 10 meter per second square likewise if we calculate the area here all right which is 45 meter because this triangle is half base time height so from a to b is 45 meter all right now let's label this a slow down to b then it speed up to c so this is point a this point b this is point c now the common mistake <coughs> is to uh, mix up the velocity time graph and the actual uh, diagram of the object going up and down this one the object is going up slowing down but the velocity uh, shown here on the graph is it looks like it's going downward but actually we should say that the velocity is decreasing as the object go from a to b then as it change direction the velocity become negative and it start to speed up speed up downwards from b to c all right thank you